Hi, DIYers. This is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to show you how to exclude your Yale Z-Wave lock from your Honeywell Lyric controller. So let's say you have your Yale lock paired with your system, and you wanted to bring it to a new system. Or maybe there was you're experiencing some trouble, and you're trying to troubleshoot, so you're figuring excluding the device and then re-including it could work. In any case, you might want to exclude the device from your system. So we're going to show you how to do that today. And the process involves putting both the lock into its exclusion mode and the Lyric into its exclusion mode. So to put the Lyric into its ex exclusion mode, we're going to go to Automation. And then we're going to press the down arrow on the right. And then Tools. And then Exclude Devices. And now the Lyric is in its exclusion mode. So now let us show you how to put the lock into its exclusion mode. So you tap the keypad until the numbers appear. Um, sometimes you have to press it a few times but the, it does appear. And we have our master pin set to one, two, three, four. Yours may be different, but we set it to one, two, three, four. Time so expired. apparently time expired. So we're gonna try this again. <laughs> there it goes. One, two, three, four. And then we press the gear icon. Menu mode, enter numbers. And then press we- Press the gear key to continue. Then we press seven to enter Z-Wave mode. And then we press the gear key again. Exit the wireless network. And you see that three has appeared, which means it's trying to exclude. If one had appeared, then it would be trying to include. But luckily, we have the three there. The lyrics ready to exclude. And our lock is ready to exclude. So we press the three. Exit the wireless network. And we'll press the gear icon. Completed. And as you can see, it excluded the lock. Um, the air lock has been excluded. So uh, one thing we want to mention about this lock, it's smart, and it knows whether or not it's paired with a Z-Wave network already. So if you're going to include the lock, you're trying to include it, but it's already included with a Z-Wave network, then you're going to run into problems. And we're going to show that right here. We already have it paired with the Lyric system. So let's say we try to enroll it, include it with another Z-Wave controller. So we're going to pull up the keypad, and we're going to enter in the master pin, one, two, three, four. Remember, we set this one. You can have whatever you want for it. And then we press the gear icon. Menu mode. Enter numbers. And press the gear key to continue. We're going to choose 7. Wireless module setting mode. Press the gear key to continue. And it gives you the helpful voice to let you know to press the gear icon. And the wireless network. you see that 3 comes up. 3 means it's trying to exclude from a network. Um, because it's already paired with one. So if we were trying to pair it with a network, it wouldn't work. We'd have to clear it from the network first. So that's what, that, that's what it'll look like if you try to include when it's already included. And remember, uh, excluding a lock is always a good practice before including. Um, that can be helpful, like making sure its settings are wiped out entirely, uh, can help it pair with the network more easily. And if you ever needed to add it to a different network, um, say you were adding it to your Qolsys IQ Panel 2+, Plus then you would want to exclude it if it was already paired from, with a network. Maybe you purchased the lock used, and the old owner didn't include it with a network. I mean, they did include it with a network, and you wanted to exclude it. That would be something you could do. Um, it's, it's kind of a good alternative to doing a default for the device, um, which we do cover in a different video. That's how you exclude a Yale Z-Wave lock from your Lyric controller. If you found this video helpful, please click the Like button below to like the video and subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.